Digital finance has long been on the agenda in the financial inclusion sector and in recent years we've been looking at ways in which we could uh, jump onto the, the train that's left. Um, Ada works in many different, on many different topics and digital finance is one of the ones that is becoming more and more uh, important. The aim of the initiative is to increase access to digital financial services and the way we're going to do this is to focus on microfinance institutions, mostly the smaller to medium size, um, because very often they don't have the, uh, the financial and human resources capacity um, to enable this. So what we're aiming to do is to facilitate this. So there are countries that have stagnated in their development in digital financial services. So we're f focusing mainly on the countries that, um, where there is not a lot of donor money in this, in this sector and also where the digital, finan digital financial services haven't really kind of uh, developed uh, as seen in other countries like in, in Kenya um, and Tanzania. The initiative will be launched in 2017 and will last for will go on for five years. The first year of the initiative will focus on roadmap studies. Um, these are studies uh, that will be done by the MFI, which will look at the internal constraints of the MFI, so the human and financial resources, as well as external um, constraints such as the environment. So looking at who are the actors in, in, in the place, uh, what are the different models that can function to determine the best solution for that MFI. One of the founding principles of this initiative is self-start principle, which, which means that the MFI must apply to the initiative uh, to gain access to the financing that we offer. Um, this will um, this should ensure that the MFI is motivated to develop their digital financial services.